in this mini lecture i shall be giving you a conceptual idea about what is a cache memory just to give you a better context say for example you try to open up a new website for the first time okay assuming the speed of your pc the speed of the net connection being the same it will take slightly more long time to load that web page for the very first time now let's say again after half an hour you go open up your browser you try to reopen that particular page assuming the speed the pc are the same now it will load a lot faster you must be wondering why this is the case what happens is the web system or the internet system is quite smart for the very first time it will load download all the basic images frames in your hard disk okay so it takes a little time next time when it is trying to open the same page some of the content is already cached or existed there on your hard disk so the new content loads much faster because a lot of the static frame images are already there on your hard disk so this is an example of a cache now the concept the idea is the same to speed up reading information but here it's used in a different context generally the cpu is a super fast you can consider it to your rafale jets whereas your main memory you can compare it to at the most like your rajdhani trains now what happens with this is since the cpu is extremely fast the ram which is made up of the dynamic random access memory is not able to supply data and instructions at the required speed of the cpu this way the cpu being a expensive resource may remain idle and the computer's performance may slow down so there's a simple solution to it what they have done is they place a special memory called as the high speed memory or the cache memory between the cpu and the ram so what this cache memory does is cache memory is made up of the static ram static ram as you know is more expensive than the dynamic ram but it is much much faster than dram it doesn't need to be refreshed suppose this is the size of 8 gb this may at the most be 32 kilobytes or 512 kilobytes and so on so what happens is because of this cache memory the cpu whenever it has to execute something will first try to search the instruction data in the cache memory only if it is not found it will then go to the ram fetch it into the cache and then read from the cache memory now you may be wondering why would be they be doing this the reason is the way programs work is programs tend to work on the 80 20 rule the 20% of the code or data is used 80% of the time to run the program so by storing the most frequently used or accessed data or instruction in a high speed memory the cpu is able to execute the program much faster than it had to fetch it from the ram so what the cpu does is first looks up in the cache if it's not there it's called as a cache miss then it will go to the ram and fetch it here cache memory is much faster than ram but it is made up of extensive static ram i have already told you this is very very small as compared to this now the key idea behind the working of the cache memory is if you hold the most frequently used data and instructions in a high speed memory automatically it will be able to supply that data and instructions to the cpu at a very high speed and thereby the cpu is also going to run at the maximum possible speed the best way to understand the cache memory working is through a very simple example cache memory basically works on two concepts okay the keywords irrespective of what level you study in the cache memory it works on the concept of temporal and spatial locality so i will try to explain these concepts through a very simple example assume this is how your memory looks this is memory location 0 1 2 3 and 4 at 0 45 165 2 99 3 location 0 4 location 33 what i want to do is i want to write a small program which will simply add all of these numbers and store it in a variable or a memory location called as sum so what i do is i create a memory location called as sum and every time i start reading from this place and i add it to sum so first time it will be sum will be 0 so it will be 0 plus 45 next time i am going to add 65 then 99 0 and 
Suppose you consider this as a box of numbers. So what I am going to do is I am going to take sum and each time I am going to take the old value of sum and add it to number of i. Number of i is i is initially 0 to 4. So when number of i, number of 0 is 45. So 45 is added to sum. Next time I am increasing the value of i by 1. So i becomes 1. So the old value of sum is 45. i is now 1. Number of 1 happens to be 65. So 45 plus 65 is added here. Next time i becomes 2 because i is i plus 1. When i becomes 2 then number of totally 5 locations number of 2 happens to be 99. So this is 99. This way it will keep all the adding all the numbers to sum and finally print the value of sum. Now you must be wondering why the hell am I telling you all of this stuff. There's an important reason. If you look at it, sum is the variable or the data or a memory location being used very very frequently to add all these numbers. So what it's telling me is temporal locality, locality means if a data or an instruction has been used in the recent past, most recent past, it has a very good chance of being used again in the immediate future. So what it will do is instead of trying to get sum from RAM, it will keep it in cache memory so that the access is faster. Similarly, this number box of i also it will keep in the cache memory so that it can access it faster. Now I will tell you what is special locality. Spatial locality works on this principle. It works on the principle that if a data or a code is accessed, there is a very high chance that its neighboring data or instructions will be accessed. Very simple. What it tells me is if I have accessed 45 and added it to sum, there is a very good chance that I may next access 65, after 65, 99, after 99, 0, after 0, 33. So the moment I first get 45 and add it to sum, this property of special locality will already get 65 and keep it in cache memory. Once you get 65, it will say, okay, yeah, he's accessing 65. Let me also get 99 into cache memory. So it does a prefetch of data or instructions to speed up the CPU working. So that's all about what the cache memory is. It works on temporal and spatial. Temporal is data or instructions that have been just used may be used again. So sum has been used once. So it may be used again and you, it makes sense because it's doing again and again sum and i. So it will put sum and i in the cache because they were just recently used. They are likely to be used again. So I hope this gives you a clear understanding of what a cache memory is. You, this is again a 10,000 or a 50,000 feet high view of what a cache memory is. In the third semester or the fourth sorry when you're studying computer architecture you will really study in deep about the cache memory and it's a really interesting topic and a lot of research work can be carried out in a cache memory.